Greetings, it's New Zealand naturopath Eric Bakker, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for checking out my video. We're going to talk about the best foods to eat after you've had antibiotics. Okay, let's say you've taken a course of antibiotics and you're not feeling particularly good. What are some of the best foods you can eat? Well, let's quickly talk about the foods that you don't want to eat before we go into the foods that you do want to eat. So it's obviously not a good idea to have like beer and soda and uh, potato chips and crap food like that. You don't really want to do this after antibiotics because you've wiped out a whole lot of bacteria. So you really want to focus on trying to relax a little bit, give your immune system a little bit less stress by saying no to people, not taking on so much work. And by trying to, you know, um, drink a little bit of water, understand that beverages also have a big role in gut ecology. <clears throat> so Kefir is quite a good thing to, to drink, you know, as a drink. And some herbal teas are quite good, but too much coffee, tea, and especially alcohol are a big no-no after antibiotics. So I would say don't have any booze at all for two weeks post-antibiotics. It's a smart move, okay? Try not to socialize too much with people because there's a tendency for you to drink alcohol when you do that. And then when you've had a few drinks, you tend to eat the wrong kind of food anyway. So what about what you can eat? What are some of the good things to have when you've had the antibiotics? Well, yogurt, a good, really good, naturally cultured yogurt, uh, a Greek sour yogurt is very, very good to have in small amounts. Have it usually in the morning before breakfast, a small amount. And also um, at night time, I find twice a day, just a little amount is going to be good. You don't need a whole lot, just a small amount. Second food I want you to think about is garlic. Garlic, fresh garlic, uh, especially up to three cloves per day, is a smart move for a few reasons. One of them is garlic contains a lot of uh, prebiotics in it. Uh, pre it's prebiotic by default because it contains some indigestible fibers in it that allow to feed up the beneficial bacteria that are remaining. There'll be some traces of lactobacillus left, and these will feed quite heavily on garlic. They quite like garlic. So this again, um, you know, this will explain to you that garlic doesn't kill the friendly bacteria. In fact, it feeds them up. And the clever thing also with garlic, it's going to inhibit, inhibit any fungal strains that are potentially there after you've taken the antibiotic. All right? Because we know that antibiotics encourage yeast production and garlic discourages yeast production. Another good reason to take garlic. It contains prebiotics that feed the beneficials and it's going to help nail the bad the bacteria and also any fungal strains that are coming up. Third food to eat, um, if you've had antibiotics, um, are almonds. Almonds are quite good. And in fact, the Almond Board in California found that they had an antiviral effect with people and also a beneficial effect on people. You know, so uh, almonds, especially ground up to a fine powder, you can make cookies out of it, you can use it in bread, you can use it in, in different dishes. I even used it in a curry once. I made a nice chicken curry and I put some almond powder in there. It was quite tasty. So almonds are very good to have after um, you've had antibiotics. But make sure they're not roasted with lots of salt. Try and have them raw, like fresh, you know. Jerusalem artichoke, fantastic vegetable that belonged to the sunflower family. So these contain a prebiotic sugar called inulin. In fact, Jerusalem artichokes are one of the highest inulin containing of all vegetables to eat. So just a small amount, a couple of ounces of Jerusalem artichoke steamed up per day is a very smart move um, after you've had antibiotics. Um, so this just gives you an insight in some of the foods you can have. They're going to boost your intestinal health post-antibiotics. Okay? And the other thing I'd like uh, to leave you with is to make sure you take one or two of my Canzita Remove tablets per day after antibiotics to stop any uh, yeast from coming up. And, and the danger period often is about 7 to 10 days after antibiotics are finished when the candida will slowly start coming up. So Canzida Remove, that's with an X, C-A-N-X-I-D-A, Remove. You'll get that from Canzida.com. That's going to counter yeast infection. All right, because many people take an antibiotic, they feel okay, and then slowly but surely they start noticing a little bit of maybe vaginal itching or skin itching, a bit of bloating, a bit of gas. And then they'll often take yogurt, but sometimes it just won't be enough. So take the raw garlic, take some almonds, take some Jerusalem artichoke. You know, and the, and the last thing I'll leave you with is sauerkraut. So sauerkraut, make sure you get an unpasteurized and naturally fermented sauerkraut. It's a fantastic food to have um, when you've had um, you know, an antibiotic. So the fermented and cultured foods like kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi from you know, Korea, uh, yogurt. These are all really, really good choices to have. 
find the one that suits you and stick with it for a little while. But don't forget, a secret also is to take the antifungal uh, Canzita, just a couple per day for about three or four weeks, and that'll make sure that you get no reoccurrences and that you've nailed that yeast infection at the same time. Thanks for tuning into my video today.